I've been on the unemployment, uh, the PUA, unemployment assistance since um, March. Jeffrey Beck is a local DJ. With weddings and celebrations on hold, he's been relying on weekly PUA payments. The payments were arriving each week on uh, the debit card. According to Jeff, the payments stopped in July, even though he's still out of work. I have emailed them. I've sent a message through the system. I've tried to call the phone numbers. When he didn't hear back from the Pennsylvania Department of Labor and Industry, he reached out to his local state representative, Steve Malagari. So since mid-March, actually, we've, we've handled a approximately 900 and close to 925 labor and industry cases. Molly Gary says in Beck's case, something on his account was flagged as potential fraud, which delayed his payments with PALNI. Their fraud detection system had inaccurately placed a hold while further review is then required. So if, if people see that their claims are suddenly in progress, then they can follow steps to verify their identity. The steps include uploading two forms of identification that verify your name, address, and social security number. This must include one state or federal government issued photo ID. From there, you send an email to dliverify at pa.gov to let the state know the documents are available. So I did that, and I all I got back from that was an automatic reply, but within I think three to five days, my benefits have been released. We'll post that email address and a list of the verification items you'll need on our website, NBC10.com/response. Harry Hairston, NBC10 Response.